Ann Wood in the local 10 newsroom and we are following breaking news out of the city of Miami where police we understand are following an all-terrain vehicle at one point driving very close to Jackson Memorial Hospital at last at last check Northwest 12th Avenue and 12th Street. You can see right over there in the middle of your screen. That is that ATV that you can see Miami Dade police are following. Likely city of Miami police are also on the case as well. Last check Northwest 7th Avenue and 8th Street. This we understand is an all-terrain vehicle that at one point had been driving very erratically on the streets of Northwest Miami-Dade, now in the city of Miami. The driver, we understand, wearing a black ski mask. At this point, it is not clear exactly why that driver initially was being followed, but you can see right now they are fleeing the streets and they are driving right now in the city of Miami. You can see at least one squad car behind this ATV. Thankfully, it looks like this area, at least this, this street right here, uh, is uh, fairly clear, but no doubt this is a situation that can put so many people in danger. Once again, this all-terrain vehicle traveling in the city of Miami, at one point, according to police, uh, driving uh, very erratically. You can see going at one point in that median uh, weaving around cars and it looks like right now police have it right in front of them. It looks like this ATV is slowing down. Let's take a look. You can see Miami-Dade police behind this car, behind this ATV that at uh, right now is slowing down. It looks like they are attempting to move this car over to the, the ATV over to the side of the road, but it's not stopping. Uh, now this ATV, it looks like it's traveling in the middle of the road, just barely weaving around these cars. And there you have it, that driver is not stopping. Once again, the driver of this all-terrain vehicle right now in the city of Miami with Miami-Dade police on its tail, not stopping. It looked like at one point it was making a stop, but not anymore. Right now, once again, traveling in the middle, in the turn lanes uh, of this road. We understand at last check, this was Northwest 7th Avenue, 14th Street. So again, a very busy area. You can see Miami-Dade police behind this ATV, which they say at one point had been traveling at a high rate of speed, the driver with a mask on, uh, and once again, just traveling uh, away from police, attempting to make the stop. Um, and you can see that driver is still going. Um, as the driver goes, uh, crosses into traffic, it looks like a couple of people were trying to cross the street. Uh, the police officers are behind it, giving it a little bit of room uh, because as you know, these all-terrain vehicles as well as motorcycles are nimble uh, and these things can put other drivers at risk. So once again, uh, police are following this all-terrain vehicle, which at one point was traveling at high rates of speed. We understand right now this is Northwest 7th Avenue. So again, it looks like it's traveling northbound on Northwest 7th Avenue. Uh, just passing 32nd Street. So it's leaving the uh, busy part of downtown Miami where at one point it was right by Jackson Memorial Hospital uh, and now it continues to travel with police behind it. Looks like it sort of made a turn. You can see police right now uh, behind that vehicle, that all-terrain vehicle, which has been eluding police at least for the last 10, 15 minutes. If you're just joining us right now, it is 11.45 and we're following this breaking news out of Miami where Miami-Dade police continue to track this all-terrain vehicle which has been traveling, they say, at high rates of speed uh, in the city of Miami at one point near the hospital, at one point near the airport, once again at last check traveling on Northwest 7th Avenue at 36th Street, continuing to travel northbound. At one point, the driver, we understand, was in a black mask. Uh, continuing to elude police, uh, trying to stop it in the safest way as possible. Because of course you don't want to put other people at risk and it looks like they have him cornered, or at least they did, and he's continuing to flee. So once again, you're looking at live pictures right now from Sky 10 as police attempt to stop this ATV rider traveling at high rates of speed, driving very erratically. It looks like right now, it looks like right now it's, it's, uh, it's, it's on a ramp uh, to get on a highway. It looks like he's getting on I-95 right now. At one point southbound 10th Avenue on the 112, and we understand that he is getting on 95 right now. So if you have any loved ones who are traveling today, I know it's spring break, a lot of kids are off, people are shopping and they're doing their thing, you might be on the road, this is what you might be seeing. So once again, 
Miami-Dade police following this ATV rider who now we understand has gotten on the highway, traveling at dangerous rates of speed, driving erratically at one point. Look, he's right now, looks like he's on the shoulder. This is definitely a dangerous situation for everyone involved. Police want to stop this driver, but they want to make sure that they do it in a safe way, not only for that ATV rider, but for other travelers on the road. And it looks like he's traveling sort of in that left lane, in those express lanes on I-95, dangerously close to other cars. So again, it looks like this ATV rider is on 95 northbound in the express lanes. And it looks like he is continuing to travel uh, as police keep a safe distance. It looks like there are at least three patrol cars behind this ATV and he's not stopping. At one point, he was close to Jackson Memorial Hospital. At one point, this ATV rider was near the airport. It looked like he was going to pull over a couple of times and slow down, but then he just kept going. So once again, you can see he is uh, moving from the express lanes. He's still in the express lanes of 95 northbound. And you can see that um, police are behind him and he's just not stopping. Again, this is 95. The last check was that he was passing 79th Street. So he is traveling northbound. If you have any loved ones who are on the road right now, that's what you are seeing. You are seeing this ATV rider traveling northbound 95. He just passed 79th Street. So he is, he is heading north towards the Golden Glades, uh, towards 95th Street. And once again, Miami-Dade police are on his tail. Not clear at this point why this driver was initially wanted, if this was some sort of traffic stop. But needless to say, he is not stopping now. And he is traveling north as Miami-Dade police are on his tail. If you've been on the road today, you might have seen some of the commotion from the air. Uh, very likely in these situations, Miami-Dade police, they do have aviation up in the air to monitor as well. But once again, you have Miami-Dade police, at least three or four squad cars who are behind him. And at some points, it almost looks like he's slowing down, like he's going to pull over. But then he does not. And I say he because initial reports is that this is a male wearing a black mask on this white ATV at some points traveling high rates of speed and, and uh, in a dangerous manner. Anytime that a rider is eluding or trying to flee from police, uh, it puts so many people in danger. Police want to do what they can to not only stop this person from continuing, but they also want to make sure that they have other people, uh, other people's safety in mind. So you can see Miami-Dade police, they are in both lanes of the express lanes. They are behind this person, probably trying to coax him to pull over and stop. At some points, it looked like he was, but now he continues to travel northbound. Once again, this is northbound 95, passing 95th Street. So he is and actually now passing uh, Northwest 119th Street. So he continues to travel northbound towards the Golden Glades. If you're familiar with this area, you know 95. It's hard to tell what traffic is like out there because as you know, this is spring break for school kids in Broward and Miami-Dade County. So the traffic pattern is a little different right now. But there he goes, and he's traveling at a high rate of speed, at least it looks like, compared to the other traffic. He is in the uh, express lanes northbound. It looks like he's passing this white car right now, or at least he's about to. If you're joining us right now, it is 11.50. I'm Janine Stanwood in the Local 10 Newsroom, and we continue to follow this breaking news. An ATV rider continuing to flee from Miami-Dade police who are traveling with him, behind him, hoping to get this person to stop. At one point, we understood that this ATV rider was riding erratically, wearing a dark mask. At one point, this guy was near Miami International Airport. And then at one point, he was near Jackson Memorial Hospital. No doubt, very busy places. Once again, he's on 95. He's in the express lanes. He is going around traffic. You can see that there are cars in the left-hand lane. He's in the right, and he's trying to pass. So this definitely puts police in a dangerous position. They are trying to stop him. They want to make sure that other cars get out of the way. Uh, they want to be able to stop him safely. And so far, this person is not stopping. Once again, we continue to track this ATV, this all-terrain vehicle, this four-wheeler uh, that is 
in the express lanes of I-95 traveling northbound towards the Golden Glades Expressway, uh, towards uh, just passing right now Opalaka Boulevard, Northwest 135th Street. Looks like he is in the, the left-hand lane now of the express lanes. You can see at least two Miami-Dade police cruisers, but we saw, we saw more than that. Uh, so the question is, um, yeah, as he approaches the Golden Glades Expressway, uh, will he get on the ramp to go to uh, the turnpike or continue to head over on the flyover uh, and continue to travel on I-95 northbound? It's hard to say. But he's not stopping, and we are going to continue to track him as he travels northbound. Uh, and again, I'm using the word he because initial reports was this, this was a, a male rider on this ATV with a black mask on. We're still waiting on word from Miami-Dade police to see what the initial call was. But regardless of the initial call, he is not stopping and he's continuing to travel in a northbound direction, potentially putting himself, other drivers and police in danger. You can see those two Miami-Dade squad cars still behind him. Uh, the hope in any of these situations is that the rider will just voluntarily uh, get tired of it and pull over and the whole thing can be over. Uh, but at this point, that doesn't look like that's happening. Uh, so again, you're, you're looking at this wide shot of 95 of this ATV rider and it looks like he may be continuing northbound on 95 and it looks like he's going to get into those uh, express lanes where the flyover is. I think that that is, is what's going to happen. Unless he goes to the park and ride, and that's not what he does. It looks like he's going to continue on that flyover. Uh, so you know this. You know this uh, area well if you travel on 95 in the Golden Glades. This is the flyover that takes you from Miami-Dade County into Broward County. So when he dumps out of there, he's going to be close to Miami Gardens Drive and then, of course, uh, the Aventura area. So if you are in this area, if you have any loved ones who are riding around, uh, be aware that there is a pursuit right now. Police trying to stop this guy on this ATM, ATV, excuse me, uh, this four-wheeled, uh, sometimes these things are not street legal, no lights, and he is riding in the northbound lane. So police have him, uh, but this puts everybody in a dangerous situation because there's not much of a shoulder on that flyover. So you can see at least three squad cars right there, Miami-Dade police, traveling behind this person, hoping at some point that he's just gonna get tired of it and pull over. That is not the case yet. Once again, if you are just joining us, I'm Janine Sandwood in the Local 10 newsroom. It's 1154, and we are following this breaking news out of the Golden Glades, where a rider on an ATV traveling, we are told at some points at high rates of speed and very erratically, is being followed right now by Miami-Dade police. They've been following him for a while. At one point, he was in the city of Miami. He was near the airport. He was near Jackson Memorial Hospital. He continues to travel in a northbound direction towards Broward County in this white ATV. We understand that at last check he did have a mask covering his face. And these police officers, you can see they're keeping a distance from him, but he continues to travel in a northbound direction. And right now he's getting dumped out towards uh, 95, where more traffic then starts to merge. And this is where things can potentially get dangerous. So once again, Miami-Dade police, they've got their eye on this guy. He's traveling pretty steadily, at least at this point. It looks like it, at one point, well, no, he's not. At some points, it did look like he was slowing down. He was maybe going to stop. He was going to surrender. And then not the case. He kept going. And that's the case right now. He's, he's traveling into uh, the north part of Miami-Dade County. Pretty soon it'll be Aventura. Um, and, and again, he's on 95. And as we've mentioned, this is spring break. So the traffic pattern's a little different now. You may have some more people out in the middle of the day, going to lunch, going to the mall. But he is continuing to go northbound, express lanes, uh, very close to Miami Gardens Drive. And once again, Miami-Dade police are on him, and we are going to continue to follow this situation. It's potentially dangerous for everybody involved, as we know, when we see these situations, especially somebody who is riding an ATV. Typically, these are not street legal. They don't have the right lights, uh, but he's right now continuing to travel in the express lanes northbound. We lost our shot for a second, but now we have it back, and you can see he's, he's, he keeps driving north. At some points, it almost looks like he is going to pull over into the shoulder but then he doesn't. He keeps going. Miami-Dade police continue to follow him. 
and at this point, they have not stopped him. So bear with us, we're losing our signal for a second, but we're gonna come right back to this ATV rider who once again is traveling northbound on 95, past the Golden Glades now. He's likely past Miami Gardens Drive and he's probably getting very close to Ives Dairy with Miami-Dade police behind him. At one point, it looked like he was turning and it looked like maybe they had him stopped and he had gotten tired and decided to pull over. That's not the case. And that's usually what police want. They want these people to voluntarily surrender but instead, this person is continuing to travel. And again, we say he because initial reports is that it is a male on this ATV. And there he goes. He keeps, he keeps traveling northbound. And we are continuing to follow it. You can see the southbound lanes are a little stopped up. That's usually the case. The northbound lanes are fairly clear. Uh, so that is good from a safety standpoint. But he is continuing to travel. It's hard to tell if he's traveling at a high rate of speed because there's not a whole lot of other traffic to compare it to but he is continuing to travel northbound as Miami-Dade police and are Jeanine, on his uh, tail. Jeanine, I'm gonna jump in here. This is uh, Christy Krueger joining you here as we get closer to the noon hour. I uh, just wanna let you know that since uh, this uh, person on this ATV is traveling into Broward County, we have been told the BSO has been alerted and they will be joining in, in this uh, situation, this chase. Although, uh, as you have been noticing, uh, the uh, officers have been staying at a bit of a distance for the safety, I'm sure, of everybody out on the roads. But this person on the ATV has been, uh, unfortunately our shot has uh, left us here for a second, but here we see the officers getting very close once again uh, to the ATV, or was it from earlier today? That looks like that might be from earlier. That I was think. earlier. That's, this is what you were talking about earlier when this ATV driver looked like he might surrender, and now he's back on the road again, heading northbound, heading into Broward County. In these situations, Christy, and, and, and you know it, and we've we've seen it. There are multiple police agencies. They they have what's called you know mutual aid, and you know they call each other. And and he was in Miami Dade County at one point near JMH, near Jackson Memorial Hospital. Now he's going into Broward County. So you would imagine uh, not only has BSO been alerted, but also Florida Highway Patrol as well. And he just keeps on going. And, he does. And, yeah. And you know, Christy, in these situations too, anytime that there are these vehicles that are not regular cars, that are ATVs or motorcycles, there's a lot of caution that these law enforcement officers have to practice uh, in, in, pursuing these, in, in pursuing these vehicles. Exactly. Okay. We understand this uh, driver is now just passing Pembroke Road, not too far away from our uh, local 10 station, uh, again in Broward County. This all came uh, originally as a reckless to call in about a reckless driver on an ATV going through red lights, going the wrong way in traffic, jumping up on medians. And now it's just been a uh, pursuit northbound in the express lanes here of 95. Uh, luckily so far, he has not uh, hit anybody. It doesn't, it hasn't hit any cars. Uh, but people are, as you have mentioned, in danger whenever these kinds of situations uh, unfold, especially on our busy roads, 95 being one of the busiest ones. Luckily, perhaps it is spring break and perhaps more people are not on the roads right now. Uh, our traffic patterns are a bit different, uh, but, uh, but certainly as uh, this continues to unfold, we are uh, very cognizant of the fact that this person is putting a lot of lives in danger. Absolutely, and that's the balance that these law enforcement officers have to strike. Think about it. They get a call about a reckless driver blowing through right lights and going over medians. This is somebody that they want to stop, but they also know that there is potential danger even in the act of stopping this person on the highway with other cars involved. And you said it, Chrissy, maybe this is a good thing that there aren't as many cars on 95 right now. Exactly. Now, I'm not very familiar with ATVs, so I'm not sure exactly uh, how much, uh, how far they can go on, on the, the gas that they've got in that vehicle. But he's been, he's been on the road for quite some time now, starting out in Miami-Dade around Jackson Memorial Hospital, going up and down a, a number of streets earlier, red lights, blowing through red lights, uh, going the wrong way at times, uh, in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, but then getting on 95. And a number of officers, as we know, are in pursuit right behind him. But lots of other vehicles are also on the roads as well. They are as well. And in fact, you don't really see police behind him yet, but a lot of times they do want to keep a safe distance. But again, uh, they are monitoring and often these law enforcement agencies do have aviation in the air. They're monitoring. Uh, likely they may be looking at our chopper shot as well. And so they do know exactly where this person is 
on 95 in the express lanes northbound. And it looks like at least at this uh, part of where he is, there is more traffic on the road, at least behind him and a little bit in front of him. Right. And so they're they're uh, they're they're watching closely. And just uh, for any viewers watching, he's just passed Sheridan. We do say he because that's what the call came in as a man on an ATV with a black ski mask driving erratically now past Sheridan uh, heading toward Griffin Road and uh, southbound a lot busier than northbound which I guess is also a bit of a blessing right now as well. Once again, if you're just joining us, we are following this breaking news now out of Broward County, where law enforcement officers are following an all-terrain vehicle that is right now on I-95 at one point driving erratically. The initial call we understand was of a driver on an ATV blowing through stoplights, going over medians, putting the public at risk. And so they are right now pursuing this vehicle heading northbound in Broward County at one point in Miami-Dade County near the airport, near the hospital hospital and he continues to travel northbound and there's FHP you can see in the left hand lanes with lights and sirens on so it's not exactly clear what will happen if this FHP trooper is going to try to do some sort of maneuver but likely not any kind of a pit maneuver and there he goes on the right hand side of the street and he's exiting exit 22 oh there he goes yeah he is uh, now turning uh Westbound. Turning westbound, we understand this is Sterling Road, uh, I believe is what I'm hearing from our assignment desk. Westbound on Sterling Road. Uh, looked like FHP was going to try to pull him over. And there he goes. Now he's on surface streets, which absolutely can be. Uh, and going at a very high rate of speed. Very high rate of speed. Blowing through all kinds of intersections right now. Again, this is on Sterling Road westbound. If you do know people in this area, you might want to alert them. It's coming up on a car here and getting boxed in a bit, but uh, that's the thing about these ATVs. They can maneuver quite easily around these uh, other cars and vehicles. And on you the road. can see there was a, a helicopter, a law enforcement helicopter that uh, just passed ours, so they're no doubt monitoring him by the air. They know exactly where he is. Now it's just a matter of stopping him and doing it safely. And at this point, oh wow, Christy, I mean, this guy. Yeah, I'm yeah, holding he, my breath. I know you are as well. We've seen this too many times and not end well, so. Uh, we're hoping for the best here that all the other drivers on the road are safe. Well, and the problem, too, is that, you know, law enforcement, they want to stop this guy, but he's on an ATV. I, I can't tell if he's wearing any kind of helmet or not. Uh, I, it did not look, there was a tighter shot that we had earlier, and it does look like just the ski mask, not a helmet. Right, and so his life is in danger. Others' lives are at risk as well, and law enforcement, they're trying to stop him safely, and I don't know. How the heck you do it? Yeah, uh, and, yeah. and that's why this, this puts everybody just in such a bad predicament. It's interesting. It looks like he actually has lost that. Oh, there it is. That officer who was behind him on the interstate. And we just saw him just weaving in and out of traffic on those westbound lanes. But he just made a U-turn. He's now going eastbound. Yeah. Now he's traveling eastbound on Sterling Road. Is that Alexis? It's a little hard to hear her. Yeah, I think, Alexis, we need to get your mic back gotcha. on. Gotcha. Yeah, but that, again, this driver on the ATV, as Alexis was saying, is traveling eastbound with an FHP trooper yep. uh, close on, on his heels. Yeah, he thought he was eluding FHP on the highway by getting off on Sterling Road, but there's FHP right behind him. And so now this is this is what, what uh, troopers have trained to do so extensively. Um, and, and it's just such a hard thing because, again, you... you you have to sort of weigh stopping this guy and, and putting him and others at risk as right. well. It's not as easy as a, as a pit maneuver that they're trained to do with regular vehicles. Right. This is an ATV and, and this guy is, uh, is exposed uh, with just a ski mask on. So it's a, a little harder to, to stop him, I assume, um, and do so safely as well as not put others uh, lives at risk as well. Well, and then law enforcement also have to think about this too. So you have you have troopers, you have cops with lights and sirens behind you, uh, and you're not stopping, and you're continuing to weave in and out of traffic. So then it makes you wonder, you know, what else is he capable of doing? How, how, how else can he potentially behave recklessly, if that's the case? Sure. And, and you can see right now he's, he's sort of getting over. He's in the right-hand lanes. It looks like he's, he's trying to get back on I-95. And, of course, ATV, there he is. He's on the grass. He's on the grass getting around all these folks. Uh, again, as you mentioned, it looks like he's trying to perhaps get back on 95. Yeah, I think that's the ramp back onto 95, I think. All right, let's see okay. where he is. I kind of lost him here underneath the uh, overpass. Yeah, I mean, it looked like that was an on-ramp onto I-95, and he just blew past everybody to, to, to get back on. So let's, let's well, uh, there he is. Is that him? Yeah, there he is. There he is. And so now, again, going back to, uh, I believe, the northbound lanes. 
get ourselves twisted around here a little bit, but I believe he's getting back in the northbound lanes. Yeah, we think this is northbound. I'm listening to some of what our assignment desk is saying, and I do believe that this is still northbound. And it was an interesting choice to get off the interstate and now hop back on, weaving in and out of track. We saw him um, clearly this driver of this ATV not caring about where or what direction he goes in and getting back on this interstate is a very interesting choice. He was on those express lanes for quite a while when he made this cross county uh, run here and police it looks like we can't see any police vehicles behind him. There it no, is. There's, there's that trooper yeah. coming up on his tail there. But again, it's going to be almost like how would they get him to stop? Apparently uh, that the ATVs, they're actually illegal to be on public roads in Florida. So it's interesting to see how this even started this chase. But of course, we're going to get those details once this chase can come to an end and hopefully a peaceful end with no one getting hurt. It looks like he it almost looked like he was sort of turning back for a second, uh, looking at this FHP trooper who's behind mm -hmm. him, um, who continues to maintain a steady distance behind this ATV rider, but it does not look like he is pulling over no, and he just got over a, one lane to the right. Getting getting uh, very close to uh, Griffin and five minutes, of course, the 595 overpass. I wonder if he'll try to make a move and do something on the on 595. And he's getting, and well, he's getting off oh, on that 595 not. exit. Looked like he oh. was going to get off, but he's 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 still on and he's in those those right hand lanes and that troopers behind him. Um, yeah. You know, these these FHP troopers, th this is they they train extensively to uh, be able to keep a, a visual on these people that they are trying to stop um, and do it in a way that they don't put other people at risk. I mean, this is um, very skilled driving that you are keeping one eye on a suspect who's tri driving erratically um, and also driving in a way that you're not crashing into other people on the highway. That's exactly true. If, fo if folks are just joining us as we watch this uh, speed, slow speed, well, well actually, times it's been a high speed chase yeah. along I-95, northbound, just north of 595. Uh, we know this began in Miami-Dade uh, about maybe an hour or so ago with um, a call coming in about an ATV driver on a white ATV with a black ski mask driving erratically, going through red lights, going the wrong way, endangering others. And it began in Miami-Dade through the streets of Miami-Dade, then getting on the express lanes of 95 and now in just the regular lanes of 95 again getting close to like Davie Boulevard yeah. Broward Boulevard this is close to Broward Boulevard this is an exit uh, that I'm really familiar with near Davie Boulevard so if he's heading in that area you know someone who gets on the interstate from there just tells them to be on the lookout because this chase is now entering near that Davie Ro Boulevard exit approaching Broward Boulevard and then as uh, Christy mentioned it will go towards Oakland Park so if you know anyone who's traveling in that area just let them know that there is a high speed chase happening in their area this driver looks like he is picking up speed out there now on 95 because at one point that trooper was very close to him and that is no longer the case now he is getting Getting off on Davie Boulevard. This is right near a Wings and Moor. If you are traveling a Flanagan's in this area, let's see which direction that he ends up going. Because if we, if you travel near West, that is where a lot of businesses and homes are on those westbound lanes. If he traveled East, that's towards the beach and uh, a bridge out there. So nice. this is a very important intersection Ooh, that can be very dangerous. dangerous call right as there. you can see, yeah, that intersection is very busy on Davie Boulevard. Now he's traveling on those westbound lanes just to hop right back on 95. We've seen this actually play out just a few moments ago and now he's doing the same thing where he gets off. I think that's his his tactic to lose the trooper out there. Now he's going back southbound on 95. And we did see as we were watching this unfold that the southbound lanes now. were a oh. lot busier. Okay, he's going to go in the opposite direction. Yikes. Oh he's my god. Around. So he's yeah. He's traveling traveling on the opposite direction. This could be very dangerous for not only him, but definitely that trooper out there who's in a larger no. vehicle. And, and all of those innocent drivers who are just trying to make their way to work or to wherever they're going, and they are watching this guy go the wrong way on looks, the off-ramp there. So again, this is right near Brower Boulevard. It looks like that um, exit right there under that overpass is on that Davie Boulevard exit that he got off of. So we actually don't have sight of him right now and or that trooper that overpass really blocking our view here. But Skytan is zooming out to try to find out where 
this ATV rider has gone at this hour. Well, the question is, has he stopped? Mm -hmm. And that would be good news if he did. Absolutely. Especially driving in the wrong direction of traffic, of the traffic flow there. We're all watching this um, as you at home are watching this unfold as it began in Miami-Dade. Now it's in Broward County, right near Davie Boulevard. But we have lost track of this ATV driver at this point. We're going to kind of keep our eyes peeled, see if with any luck he has stopped the vehicle and it has gotten off. And, and hopefully this will end safely for everyone involved. We are hearing that possibly other drivers might have him stopped, but he is moving again. It looked like maybe he had gotten stopped up uh, with some other traffic, and we believe that he is on the move again. And there he is. There and he is. is traveling in the wrong direction. You guys, this is so dangerous. You just hate to see this happen. Again, wrong direction. So he is going northbound in the southbound lanes. We, we knew, we know that there was a trooper right behind him when he made that illegal U-turn to go in the opposite traffic flow, but we have not seen that trooper since. I mean, this is a very obviously dangerous situation for the people who are just driving there. It looks like some people are actually stuck in traffic, so maybe this will slow him down and hopefully gets him to stop. He is now going under that overpass, but we can still see him. It looks like he he's is it making the, an exit. He's on the so, shoulder there. The shoulder lane. Uh, back in, so he's now in the express lanes for people traveling southbound. And that's just to one lane. That's number down to You know, one in lane. speaking to veteran law enforcement, I can, I can tell you right now, um, veteran uh, state law enforcement, this is one of their biggest concerns and one of the biggest dangers on the highway are these ATV riders because they are very maneuverable uh, because they a lot of times will sort of congregate and then they get up on the highway. Um, if they're not stopped on surface streets, they get on the highway and then this is what happens. And so it puts troopers at risk. It puts other drivers sure. at risk. I mean, you're not going to have FHP going the wrong direction uh, in, a, in a big car with lights, you know, trying to stop this guy. Um, right. so, so at this point, they're just monitoring probably from the air as we are uh, watching exactly where this driver goes. Again, he's going on the shoulder lanes here of the southbound lanes, but he is going northbound. But he is, he is uh, dangerously close to some of these cars going southbound. And we did notice that, look at how much more traffic there, there is in these southbound lanes. Now he's doing what? Getting off here? Looks like he's definitely riding that shoulder lane. Um, yeah, shoulder in the express lanes. In the right? express yeah. lanes, yeah. Now that is just opened up to two lanes. Before it was just one express lane that was open there. It looks like he's going where he's going in those southbound. He's, he's, no, he's driving going north yeah, he's in, going the northbound, southbound in the lane. southbound lane. Uh, so, but I'm not sure what um, street last, he just went yeah. over. I'm not sure if that was Broward or perhaps Oakland Park because he's been going for a little bit of time now. The last oh, time sunrise. we checked, he was okay, near thank you. Broward. Somebody said Sunrise. So I sunrise appreciate that. Boulevard so he's just Colorado. north of Sunrise Boulevard in the southbound lanes, but going northbound past Sunrise. It looks and, like he continues to go at a pretty at a, at a pretty good clip. Yes, he does. Uh, once again, in the wrong direction, in the shoulder, putting so many people oh. at risk. We did see law enforcement oh. helicopters above. Uh, so they are monitoring him. They know exactly where he is. And when Sky 10 pans out, you can see he lost that trooper. The trooper is not telling him as close as he was well, I this think entire that, yeah, chase. I think Janine made a good point that the trooper is probably not going to go in the wrong direction Definitely. and put everybody at risk. So they're monitoring now from above because that's uh, the safest thing to do and that's what they're trained to do. Of course, law enforcement, whenever they deal with these ATVs, they want to get them on the surface streets before they get on the highway, uh, which, which doesn't mean that they can't pose a lot of risk and, and be extremely dangerous when they're on surface streets as well, as we just saw a few minutes ago. But, and there he is, uh, trying to get into traffic. traffic. Cutting he's across. cutting into traffic. And now he's on the shoulder, at least going in the right direction, but now he's on the shoulder going the other way. He's doing everything he can not to get pulled over. But at some point, at some point, he's going to have to stop. At right. some point, he's going to run out of gas. Yeah, he's going to run out of steam here at some point. Uh, I, as I said, I'm, I'm no expert on ATVs, so I'm not sure how long they can run <laughs> uh, at any given time. But he has been going for quite some time now at a high rate of speed in Miami-Dade, in Broward County. So at some point, he's going to run out of gas. And have to, this has to come to an end. I mean, I just, 
couldn't understand how much longer he can hold on to this, especially now that he's in that slower traffic. I'm sure troopers are probably aligning those exits there. So let's make sure that if you live in this area in Broward County, again, we mentioned he was near, he was last near Sunrise, but now that he's traveling back, there is an exit. Yeah, he's passing Sunrise Boulevard. That is the exit he just got off of, still riding that shoulder lane there before now maneuvering into those main lanes of that exit there. And this gets dangerous because once you get off an exit, there's an intersection where traffic you know, goes depending on the lights, but this guy clearly does not care about what the traffic signal yeah, says. Has he has no, been no regard for uh, the traffic. No. I can't imagine that he has that much more gas in that tank. Exactly. Okay, so he now he's going westbound. If I'm uh, getting my directions correct, westbound on is Sunrise, this Sunrise Boulevard. Boulevard. Yeah, westbound on Sunrise Boulevard. Was the exit that he got off? Uh, All right, so now uh, busy, busier, a little more traffic here that he's going to have to maneuver around. But again, with these ATVs, mm -hmm. they they actually are a little more maneuverable and can go up on sidewalks. medians and sidewalks and everything oh. else. Oh, see, as I mentioned, I think those police officers will be at those exits waiting for him. They tried to stop him right there, but this guy is hard to slow down. And again, continuing to go to high rate of speed here, westbound on Sunrise Boulevard. I know you're by the assignment desk there, Janita, and if you have anything else that you can add, just jump in anytime. No, I'm, uh, you know, again, we're, we're, we're watching like you are. Um, and at this point, you know, he's, he's back in Broward County, the Broward Sheriff's Office. Uh, they, they've been alerted to this. They have a chopper in the sky. Mm -hmm. um, th they have their own aviation that they're monitoring as well. But again, he's, I, I believe, I believe he's still westbound um, on Sunrise Boulevard. I think, I, I think you're right. And, you know, as he continues to go westbound, he's going to run into traffic. And so he gets off and it looks like he's getting off. He's at a KFC right now, maybe in a parking lot. He's a trying to cut lot, through. Yeah, heading through. Oh, there's going to be a car right there. Yikes. Right, so now he's on some side and surface streets here. Yep. Still riding the sidewalk because, it's, you know, it's hard to do what he's doing on those main lanes. But again, this guy is now on those main lanes. We where he's not on Sunrise Boulevard any no, longer. So now he, he took a ride, so he's northbound, but I'm not sure what this main street is northbound at this point. We'll have to see a, a sign here. Yeah, we don't have yet where exactly he is. And as we're watching this, as Janine mentioned, there is a Broward uh, Sheriff Chopper in the sky watching and monitoring as well. That's how they were able to try to stop him once he got off Sunrise Boulevard. But of course, we're all monitoring this to see where he goes. So clearly this guy must be familiar with the area because of the, the route he's taking on these back streets. Yeah, and it looks like there was a little utility work on the side of the road and he just blew past that. Yeah. Um, and so he's continuing to ride and it looks like, yeah, he's, he's next to a truck. Um, he's getting in the left uh, hand lane. It looks like he's traveling once again at a high rate of speed. And we understand that that was the initial reason why this call went out. Somebody called and said, hey, there's an ATV that's riding erratically. Uh, police tried to stop it. He was able to make it onto the highway. Uh, at one point he was near the airport. He was near Jackson Memorial Hospital. He was on the flyover and now he is in Broward County uh, and he's in these turn lanes um, driving very erratically in the left hand lane. Uh, we've seen him jump curbs. We've seen him in medians. We've seen him blow lights uh, and we use the word he. I know Christy you and I were talking about this because the initial call was that it was a male on an ATV with a mask on his face. Uh, and so again, right now, uh, law enforcement all over South Florida, they've been alerted to this guy and he is just continuing to travel at a high rate of speed. These ATVs, their gas tanks aren't that big. So at some point he's going right. to have to run out of gas. Yeah, this is a, over an hour. This um, has been going on for a, at least about an hour since the call initially came in. Uh, again, this is at northbound lanes. He does appear to be slowing 31st down just a little Avenue bit. 31st Avenue is what we've just been told. Those northbound lanes of 30, uh, 31st Ave Avenue passing Northwest 19th Street. So if you have family in that area, just definitely tell and, them. And actually, this may be okay. the running out of steam that we talked about. Mm -hmm. And that police definitely is definitely slowing down. over. And that is that police cruiser. It looks like that same one that stopped him near maybe Sunrise Boulevard. Unmarked, you can see. Mm -hmm, that unmarked. And you can see law enforcement now getting out. Tackling like him to the ground. Getting him to the ground. Well, he's kind of covered by the tree, but at this point it looks like he's not putting up a fight. No. No, several law enforcement officers in unmarked vehicles now getting out. It looks like finally this thing may have ended uh, peacefully without, thank God, putting other drivers at risk. 
Exactly. Okay. This is uh, this is definitely the best outcome we could have hoped for. It doesn't look like, and anyway, from what we saw, uh, that any other drivers or, or their cars were damaged or injured. People weren't injured in this, and this guy finally, because likely that ATV just finally just ran out of gas an hour or so into this chase, uh, pulling over to the side and being uh, cuffed there on the side of the road by police peacefully. Thank goodness. Law enforcement officers in tactical gear, they have them on the ground. If you're just joining us, this is the end to a police pursuit that spanned into Broward County from Miami-Dade County at one point uh, going past the airport, Jackson Memorial Hospital, an ATV driver weaving in and out of traffic at some point going the wrong way at a high rate of speed, but you can see it has now come to an end. All right, and we are going to continue to monitor this. You know, you're on it, Janine. Thank you for uh, your reporting for the last hour or so, and we're going to move on to some other news.